Serious fire danger and cows. Well, fire officials tell 23ABC that that combination this summer could be dangerous. 23ABC's Cassie Carlisle shares how firefighters are gearing up for a rough fire season. Cassie? Yeah, that's right, Tim. Out in hilly areas leading to places like Glenville, you can see the grass is already dry and ready to ignite, and there's a lot more of it now than ever before. Shipping the cattle to Oregon, Idaho. We sold about. Uh, a third of our cattle. Our cattle are out of water. The headline for ranchers the past five years has been the drought. Most of us kind of just kept the status quo of what we had gotten to after we had culled for the last few years. Between cutting down their herd, paying for hay to feed their cows, or possibly moving the herd all together, it's been pretty tough. You can either log it, you can graze it, or you can watch it burn. This becomes a twofold problem. It's really dry. It's ready to burn right now. Now that the cows haven't been grazing the wildlands, it's overgrown, and officials are concerned about fire danger. This year, we have areas that have anywhere from one foot to three foot of grass on the hillsides. When it's being grazed properly, uh, we're going to see ankle depth. Longer grass means hotter burning fires and more resources needed to put it out. They're going to have to make wider fuel breaks because the fuel's taller, so it generates more heat, more fire. Which means hand crews are putting in more work before it's too late. Now that work includes clearing areas next to the roadways. That way a cigarette butt or hot exhaust doesn't light the hillside on fire. In the newsroom, Cassie Carlisle, 23 ABC.